Marvel News, my favorite videos to produce on this channel. We've got a little bit more news about Marvel Phase 5 and the Avengers coming Phase 5, and we're going to break it all down in this video. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to this channel and turn on the notifications when we drop videos, you get them. We cover a whole lot of things on this channel, pop culture, finances, Marvel, you get it all one-stop shop. They just dropped some news the other day that Captain Marvel 2 will be kind of the Civil War movie for this generation going on with Marvel. Where if you guys remember, Civil War introduced a lot of characters. It dropped in Black Panther for the first time. That was kind of their setup for the Avengers. And they're saying that this next Captain Marvel is going to do the same thing. And if it does, you know I'm there for it. Civil War was one of my favorite Marvel movies. It had so many people in it. The storyline was great. And I'm only hoping that they can do the same thing with Captain Marvel 2. And if we're looking at this the way they've been portraying the storyline, it's definitely going to involve SWORD, the space-based unit of Marvel. As you guys remember, Nick Fury was sitting up there chilling in the space plane in front of it looked like a beach, but it was basically on the aircraft up there in space. And this is going to be more of a space-based, probably Avengers Phase 5 storyline because we've got so many powerful characters. A lot of people are speculating who are going to be the next six Avengers to take place. Who are they going to be? Um, we know for sure we can count on Spider-Man. He's going to kind of replace Tony Stark. Thor has said he wants to come back. He has no issue playing Thor. We won't see Fat Thor anymore, but we will see Thor. Mark Ruffalo has indicated he wants to continue playing the Hulk. Doctor Strange is definitely going to be a part of the crew. And Black Panther, he's going to be a part of the crew. He's probably going to be there kind of and bring Shuri with her technology. That's kind of going to be a help and replacement to Iron Man. And then we've got Captain Marvel who, you know, she's going to be replacing Black Widow and that presence Black Widow brought to the stage. And with Spider-Man and Marvel having their Sony deal negotiated indefinitely, we're not going to have an issue with him not being a part of the team. A lot of people have mentioned that they could possibly introduce Rogue into the series and have her steal and leech Captain Marvel's powers. I don't know if they're going to go down that road at that point in time in the storyline because we, with us knowing most likely it is going to be a space-based storyline, meaning there's going to be a space-based villain. We're all trying to figure out who is going to be the main villain in this whole thing. Names that we've thrown out there, Annihilus, Galactus, Secret Invasions with the Kree, the only thing about the Secret Invasion is it sounds like the Secret Invasion could possibly be a narrative within Captain Marvel's story. Because you saw some of the little Easter eggs they dropped into Captain Marvel, the first one with the Kree, and it could possibly be something that is just tied into her storyline. Or maybe what they could do is have the Kree and the Secret Invasions be a, a minor storyline with Galactus rooming in the background as the big storyline. Marvel has done such a good job about interweaving these different stories and narratives and letting them play out on a big screen. I have complete faith that they'll do a good job in all those things. I guess the next things we've got to see is who are they going to be hiring for directors since the Russo brothers are gone and what is going to be some of the more casting that they're going to do. They just had a talk with John Krasinski and I'm not sure if he's going to play a major role in any of the Avengers movies versus him doing something with the Fantastic Four or maybe even the X-Men. But I'm very excited for what they're doing. This has been a down year for Marvel movies. And with the coronavirus, they've had to kick back Black Widow. 
So we'll see what Easter eggs come out the rest of the year. And you can always tune into this channel to get the latest in Marvel news. It's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like the video. Please comment, subscribe, go get yourself a life game. Leave me comments on what you want to see in terms of a storyline for Marvel Phase 5 with the new Avengers. Who do you want to see be on that main Avengers roster? And until that next sex is hell video, I'll see you.